Dad's night, Dad's night to cook. It is Dad's night, Dad's night to cook. From the pantry he'll take a loma book to see what we'll dine on tonight. What you gonna cook, Dad? What we gonna eat? His recipe's great, A it plus. is a must. When he cooks, he makes believe and trust. And a wonderful meal on the table. Yummy for a tummy. It is Dad's night to cook. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to the channel Dad's Night to Cook. I'm your professionally amateur, always tasty, non-time committing, home cooking dad, Chef Manny, letting you there know when it's your night to cook. Listen, you don't have to pick up the phone and call out takeout because a home cooked milk can be found in your pantry and refrigerator, having your kids singing Dad's Night to Cook, okay? Now, for today's meal, we're gonna make a crock pot, chicken pot pie, okay? So this thing's just going to cook overnight, so we got to get it ready, get all the things that we need up into the crock pot, so we can have our chicken pot pie. All right, listen here. This is going to be one of these meaty chicken pot pies. I don't like when you have chicken pot pie. Let me just uh, put this camera up for a second. I don't like when you make chicken pot pie, okay? Someone makes chicken pot pie, and it put like two pieces of chicken up in it. Mm-mm. We, if you say chicken pot pot, the main ingredient is supposed to be chicken. <laughs> so that's why we're going to make a very meaty chicken pot pie. Now I put three breasts up into this crock pot. It's a crock pot ready chicken pot pie. So let me take you back. Okay, so we have three breasts into our crock pot. And I'm using the smaller crock pot. And we're going to do that. So we've already cut up our mirepoix. Again, mirepoix is just a trifecta of cooking. It's carrots, onions, and celery. So I use two celery stalks. I use only half of a large onion and I use only two carrot sticks to make this to make this mirror pot. And you're gonna just gonna add that to your crock pot. Get it all up in there. We're just gonna cook this slow and low and set it in for get it. Okay. So you put add your mirror pot into your bowl. Now in our maison place, which is our seasoning, I have a tablespoon of salt. I know it sounds like a lot of salt. Tablespoon of salt. I have a teaspoon of paprika or cayenne. doesn't matter, but I particularly like paprika. I have a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. I have a teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of onion powder, and I have a teaspoon of rosemary, okay? And I'm using a fresher rosemary that I got from the garden. You know, the youngest parent of the garden. So I got some rosemary from the garden, okay? We're gonna put it up into this chicken pot pie. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add a tablespoon of minced garlic. We're just gonna let it sit there on the top of it. Minced garlic, a tablespoon of minced garlic. And for that added Chef Manny little little twist, little pop, pop, pop. We're going to add a teaspoon of jalape diced jalapenos. Okay, just a teaspoon. And that's just going to add a little bit of a pop. What the heck is that all about? Now to our crock pot, we are going to add um, two cups of chicken stock. And this is going to help the chicken cook up. So by the time we finish it off by adding, we're gonna add some other things. We're gonna add some condensed um, chicken um, soup to help this come along. And then so with our added chicken stock, let's give that a little quick, little quick toss to let the liquid go on the bottom. And then by the time you eat this pull this chicken it's going to be just pulling off on itself and we're going to have a hearty chicken now we're going to just find the top with who knows where the top is at so we're going to put the top onto our crock pot we've got it on low we're going to push it onto the corner we're going to set this thing and forget it it's going to cook for a nice good eight hours slow and low and then we're going to finish it up um like I said, we've got some other ingredients to put it in to make this creamy chicken pot pie. 
Okay, everybody, our chicken has been cooking in the mirepoix that we had put in last night on low, slow, and low. So look at that chicken. Look how it just falls apart. Look at that. Ooh -wee. It just falls apart. So we're gonna take our three breasts that we had in here, and we're gonna just take, make them fall, you know, pull them apart like so and we're not going to need any thickener because what we're going to do instead of putting any kind of flour or anything into our pot pie because our chicken is going to be so much chicken because you remember what i said i don't like when you make a chicken pot pie and you have to struggle to find the chicken why i don't understand it's like you make a sandwich and you only put like one thin slice of 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 sandwich meat on it it's like where's the sandwich so there we go we broke we shredded our chicken down it just falls apart and you shouldn't have no problem just pulling this chicken okay so we're going to just mix this up we shredded the chicken we're going to give this a bit of a taste see if we got our flavors right Yep, that's good, that's right. So we're just gonna thicken up our chicken pot pie with a can of condensed chicken soup. All right, so we've added our condensed and we're gonna mix that up and it makes it nice and thick and it's gonna lower down a little bit because the last two things we're gonna to add to this will be our peas, frozen peas, and our uh, frozen corn. All right, ooh, look at here, look at here, look at here. This was the, um, we had yeah, added our um, condensed chicken soup in here. That's making it creaminess that you see. And look at all that chicken. This is gonna be a real chicken pot pie. Every bite is gonna have chicken. You will not have to look for any chicken in this chicken pot pie. So what we're gonna do is we got our frozen peas and our carrots. We already have our mirepoix in here, our celery, onions, and carrots. So we're just gonna add some peas, frozen peas, and frozen corn. And I've added a cup and a half of each. And it's frozen, so it's gonna to stay to the top until we mix it in and it's gonna cool down this batter. And this is at the point where we're just gonna turn off our crock pot. And we're just gonna mix that in and then we'll turn our crock pot off because it's really, we got this and then we're gonna have um, baking time. So it's gonna be some more cooking happening. So we don't need to cook this through. So we're just gonna mix that in and start filling our tins and um, putting our topping for our chicken pot pie. Mm. All right, guys, here we are. So we have a can of biscuit, um, biscuits. Um, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna use the biscuit. We can make our topping, but we uh, just going to the store and we're gonna just buy some biscuit mix. And we're gonna cut each biscuit in half because what we have is these little tins. We've used them before when we made cakes. And so when we fill, put the filling in, we're just gonna lay one, uh, uh, the half of the biscuits was, you know, into the, the tent. So you're gonna do one like this and then in the middle. Well, let's just show you instead of talking about it. So, got our biscuits, cut them in half, like so. Mm -hmm. Then we're gonna take our chicken pot pie filling. I'm gonna fill each tin with some chicken pot pie, yum. Look at that. And I'm doing in these tins because this is one of those times where I go and I do some deliveries to friends and family. So if you want to put the side down like so, in the moon, like that, and then one in the middle. And then it'll just bubble over and cook. And we're just gonna let these rest before we bake them in a 350 oven for about mm, a good 15 minutes should do. Because remember the 
chicken pot pie part of it is already frozen and then you can refrigerate them and then the way they reheat them is they'll put them on a stove top a pan of water to get the bottom part heated up so it's going to be steamed on the bottom and then you can throw these into the oven for about 15 minutes um and to cook them or um yeah, and that's just to get the bottom warm first because these tins are aluminum, so you can't put them in the microwave to heat them up. So what you do is you heat the bottom up by putting them in a pan of water, and then when they when it when it's heated up a little bit for about fifteen minutes, steamed up, you just put them unwrap them or and put them in the oven for about fifteen minutes and three hundred fifty oven, and there you have it, chicken pot pie ready to go. All right, y'all, for dessert, we're going to make something that's known as cracker candy or whatever. Um, they have different names, crack, whatever. They just call it crack sometimes. But I've never made this dessert for my family. So I challenge my youngest to come up with a name. And so we're going to call our version of this dessert um, monkey crackers. So let's start with the pan. And we're going to get a line of parchment paper. And we're going to line this pan of parchment paper with the saltine crackers. Like again, you're going to start with a ream. And we're just going to line them up. You can do the saltine side up. I mean, you can use Ritz crackers. You can use, um, you know, whatever crackers you can find. But you want something that has a little salt because this dessert's all about the sweet and um, saltiness of that combination, sweet and salty. So the other ingredients we'll need for this is like two sticks of butter, which is a cup of butter, and we need a cup and an eighth of brown sugar. Woo, this little monkey crackers is not fat free. It is free fat. <laughs> So those are the ingredients. You also need a bag of semi-sweet or milk chocolate, a bag of chocolate chips, and then we'll put it all together. I'll show you how to put that all together. Let's get started with this monkey cracker. All right, so over a medium um, heat, we're gonna add our two sticks of butter. Two sticks of butter! That's a whole cup of butter, y'all. Like I told you, not fat free. And then we're gonna add a cup and an eighth of packed brown sugar. I prefer light brown, but you can use dark brown also. Packed sugar, and we're going to incorporate this and let this combine together. Because what we wanna do is we're gonna have it combine and melt down first, and then we'll put up the heat. And once it start boiling, I mean, once it's at a boil, we're gonna time it for three minutes once it's at a boil but at first we're just gonna do it on this medium heat to get this all incorporated together okay mm -hmm. all right so we've hit the boiling pot where there's bubbles on the side and in the middle and it's at this point that we want to time it for three minutes three minutes Alexa set the timer for three minutes All right, so we've been cooking, we've been having this boil for three minutes, so we're gonna turn the heat off. And there you have your little frothiness. And we're gonna pour this over the crackers. All right, here we have our pan lined with our saltine crackers. And we're going to pour this over the crackers and we're gonna spread it. Get my spatula and we're gonna spread this caramel goodness all over. Woo, there go that clock again, yo. And so we're just gonna spread this over our crackers. 
Okay, we've been baking for five minutes in the 350 degree oven. And now we are going to add our milk chocolate chip. We're just gonna spread it all over. So we're just gonna spread this all over. Try to get as even as possible, no big deal. We just wanna, once it melts, we just wanna spread it around. So we're gonna have a whole pack of milk chocolate chip poured over this. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use a piece of foil paper to cover over it, just so it can steam it up a little bit and melt the chocolate a little bit more. Now, if you want, you can also stick it in the oven for about two minutes and then you can spread it that way. But this way I just get a, a, a even melt of this without having to reheat it, okay? All right, so we let it been resting for a little bit. And if you want, you can stick this back in the oven just to get it um, as melty as possible. But our chocolate is melted and we're just gonna give it a nice little spread. You can see it just spreads over. Look at that. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna get this all coated, all coated over our caramel. We're just gonna take our toffee I'm just gonna sprinkle toffee all over it. You can add nuts, you can add walnuts, you can add pecans. I particularly just want a little bit to go with the caramel. Theme that we got going on with the butter and the sugar. <laughs> Make that caramel. And then, but you can put whatever you want. There's, I've seen them with M&Ms and you can take white chocolate and, and decorate that. And, and there you have it, voila. We're gonna let this, this particularly um, set in the refrigerator or on your countertop, okay? All right, so we're gonna plate this, this chicken goodness. As you can see, I'm gonna take me one big old biscuit. Oof, the ooey gooeyness coming out of this thing. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Don't that look beautiful? Ooh. Let me get some more of the center. All right, let's give this a taste. So remember we're doing the we're doing the take to friends and family, so we're not sitting down to eat this thing. So we're gonna do a taste test stand it up. Make sure it's good before I go and deliver this to folks. It's a chicken pot pie. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. It was so good. The season combination that we use on this is coming through. Every bite, like I said, has a piece of chicken. This is so delicious, yo. Make yourself some chicken pot pie. Chef man is down. So here we have the monkey cracker. Mm. My coffee. It's like eating a mouthful of goodness. You're going to be so addicted to this, one batch is not going to do it. You're going to make this over and over again. Mm. Mm, that's good. Anyway, thank you for joining us for this episode of Dad's Night to Cook. Remember, if you're new to the channel, you should share, you should like, you should comment, you should subscribe. You should especially ring the notification bell so you know when new videos have been posted so you can watch them all on how to make some good stuff for your family. All right? All right. Thanks for joining me and have a good one. See you the next time.